Hi, uh, I'm Rajiv from UT Austin, and uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, a host of problems in uh, distributed compression uh, involving multiple descriptions, relays, and uh, joint source channel coding. So, uh, what we'd like to really study are uh, how to is how to compress in large networks. And so, uh, consider an arbitrary network with multiple sources, multiple destinations, and relays. And the key question is, uh, how do you uh, develop compression algorithms in such systems? So, uh, because uh, it's difficult to analyze such a large system uh, at one go, so we try to study uh, smaller sub-problems uh, towards obtaining a better understanding of such a large system. So, uh, let's consider the vacationing CO problem, which is a multi-terminal, multiple description problem. So, note that there are uh, two sources, and uh, each uh, source generates multiple descriptions, uh, and uh, the, the objective is to find out uh, what is the smallest uh, rate at which uh, we need to generate these descriptions. So it turns out that uh, uh, we can, a Gaussian scheme is optimal only in some regimes. So if you consider the low distortion regime, when the uh, distortion constraints at the individual receivers are small, then uh, you can establish the optimal sum rate for this problem. And in the high distortion regime, that is when the individual distortion constraints are closer to the distortion constraint at the central receiver, then uh, a time sharing scheme is optimal. Uh, in general, uh, for uh, moderate distortions, we don't know what the optimal scheme is here. Uh, we also consider uh, what happens if you wanted to code for uh, the CO problem through relays. So the key question is what uh, the relay has to do in order to compress uh, these two sources. So uh, we come up with a lattice coding scheme that achieves within a constant uh, bit of the lower bound and the distortion. And uh, of course the lattice, uh, the relay could have simply forwarded the individual messages or uh, compressed it. But we show that uh, uh, computing uh, the sum and then uh, sending it out achieves a better rate uh, when compared to the other two strategies. We also look at uh, another problem uh, involving communicating linear functions over a multiple axis channel. We have uh, two correlated sources, uh, which, and we're interested in a, linear, in a linear function of these at the destination. And we show that, uh, again, that a lattice scheme actually achieves within a constant uh, bit of the uh, lower bound and the distortion for this problem. And uh, uh, the problem also involves coming up with novel bounds in the performance, uh, and uh, which help us show this constant gap result. Of course, uh, in the uncoded transmission achieves a better distortion at uh, low correlations, but uh, we show that the lattice scheme is always uh, within a constant uh, bit of the lower bound uh, for any uh, correlation.